I've been testing out the iPadOS 26 developer beta over the past week, and I've got to say, it's really refreshing to see Apple finally giving some real attention to file management. The updates to the files application and the introduction of the all new preview app show that Apple is thinking more seriously about how we actually use iPads for productivity. These changes may not grab headlines like Apple intelligence, but if you rely on your iPad for organizing documents, reviewing PDFs, or managing projects, these updates are a big deal. Today, I'm breaking down each of these new features, showing you how they work. Let's get into it. The Files app gets a serious upgrade in iPadOS 26 with a brand new list view that's cleaner and more flexible than ever. When you switch to list view, you'll notice that you can now resize columns like name, kind, or date modified, just like on the Mac. You can also now collapse folders right within the list, which is perfect for deeper folder structures. Plus, you can select which columns to display or hide including date modified, date created, date last opened, kind, size, and tags, giving you full control over the info you want to see at a glance. If you're someone who organizes and works with a lot of content on your iPad, this new layout makes navigation so much faster. You probably noticed that you can now customize any folder in the Files app with color and icon options, even emojis. Here is how it works. I long press on a folder, Tap Customize Folder and Tags, and I can choose a color by selecting a specific tag, and even add an icon or an emoji. Also, to rename a tag, simply go to the Tag section on the left side menu and press and hold on the tag you want to rename. What I love about this is that it syncs across devices via iCloud, so the folders you color code on your iPad will show up the same on your Mac or iPhone once they're all in OS 26, of course. This is one of those little quality of life updates that makes your workspace feel more personal and more efficient. A subtle change with a massive impact, you can now add any folder directly to your iPad dock for ultra fast access. Here is how it works. Long press on a folder, tap add to, and then select dock from the menu. That folder will appear on the right side of your dock right alongside your favorite apps. Want to change how it opens? Long press the folder again to choose between fan or grid views. In fan view, you can even scroll through its contents right from the dock. No need to open the files app. This is a game changer if you frequently access specific folders while working in other apps. It keeps your most used files just a tap away. iOS 26 now lets you set default tabs for specific file tabs, something we've wanted for years. Let's say you prefer to open PDFs in a specific PDF app instead of preview or maybe you want that .txt files to always open in a markdown editor. Just tap Get Info on a file, then select your preferred app under Open With. From then on, every file of that type opens in your chosen app. No more manual workarounds. This gives users way more control, especially if you rely on third-party tools in your workflow. Okay, now let's talk about the surprise addition in iPadOS 26 and iOS 26, the Preview app. If you've used a Mac, you already know Preview. It's Apple's built-in tool for viewing and marking up PDFs and images, and now it's finally on iPhone and iPad. When you open a PDF in preview, you can instantly start marking it up with Apple Pencil or Touch. That includes highlights, handwritten notes, drawings, and yes, even form fill. Preview on iPadOS 26 supports autofill, so if a PDF has form fields, the system can fill them for you automatically using save data like your name, address, or contact info. It's especially useful for contracts, permission slips, job forms. Anything really that used to take five minutes now should take you about 30 seconds. The preview app is also not just for PDFs. You can also open images and do basic edits like crop, rotate, or annotate. Let's say I import a photo for a project. I open it in preview, draw some layout suggestions with a pencil, and crop it down. Then I hit save, and it's done. Another cool tool in preview is the option to create a blank sketch. Open Preview, tap New, and choose Blank Page. You're given a blank canvas to draw, diagram, or take handwritten notes right inside the app. This is great for students, visual thinkers, or anyone who prefers scribbling to type. So to wrap things up, in iOS 26 and iPadOS 26, Apple has quietly made files and preview into powerful productivity tools. Files now feels closer to Finder on the Mac, where you get resizable columns, folder color customization, default tabs per file tab, and a smarter dock. It's all about quicker access and better organization. Meanwhile, Preview is now native to iPad and iPhone, and it brings PDF form filling, Apple Pencil annotation, image markup, and sketching into one clean integrated app. These aren't flashy AI features, but they do make a real difference in your daily workflow. If you found this breakdown helpful, 
drop a like to support the channel and let me know which of these features you're most excited to try. And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives like this into Apple's productivity updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.